Well, it's definitely a blessing to be in the Lord's house uh, tonight. Um, I had a good service this morning. Um, it was an honor to be in church with Brother Chris Cody and Brother Keith Lee. And uh, as Brother Chris uh, was preaching this morning in Sunday school, he preached on um, what kind of love God's given. And it, it was a good message. It, it touched my heart. Well, on the way from their church meeting... God started speaking to my heart. And uh, He laid on my heart, what has God done for me? Right. And in this day and age, there's a lot of people lost in sin, walked away from a church, walked away from God, and that's using this. What has God done for me? And in Genesis chapter 1, verse 7, or sorry, chapter 2, verse 7, And the, law, and the Lord God formed man of dust from the ground and breathe into his nostrils the breath of life and man become living soul. Number one, right there it says, he breathed into nostrils of the dust and gave life to men. Right. And in verse 22, he took the rib from the man which the Lord God has taken from man, made the, made the woman and brought her to them unto the man. And see, you know, God has a plan. He, he's he's going to make, you know, you know, he, he's going to put somebody in your life. Right. And what people does the uh, in this day and age, they get discouraged because God, they, they think God has given up on them. something bad has happened in their life, or you know, a family member died, mother or father. But what they don't know is God never given up on them. You know, God, it says in the Bible, God will never leave thee nor forsake thee. But yeah, they're going out into the world leaving a good church, preachers leaving a good church, using this statement, what has God done for me? And, I, and you know, it's hard, it's hard to realize, you know, the things, you know, God has given to you. And one of the things is, God has given you good golly parents. Right. Brother Mark, where would you be if you didn't have two good godly parents? Right. Amen. Where would they be if they didn't have good godly parents? Right. Teenagers. I hear, I hear teenagers talking about how they hate being sheltered. God gave y'all good godly parents right. to shelter, shelter, shelter y'all from the sin of the world, right. from alcohol, drugs, Amen fornication everything of the world they're protecting you from God gave us the Bible to read from to learn about this stuff for your parents to protect y'all but yet we turn around because something happens says what has God done for me you're right I mean it's hard to see people like this I, I, I never expected to be up here preaching. I never expected to be in church. But I had a mother and a grandmother that prayed night and day. I had a church before I got saved, before I turned my life over to the Lord. I had a church praying. I didn't know half the people in here, but there was a church praying for me. About to the point where I gave up is when the Lord spoke to me. And I was in a state of mind that I shouldn't have been in. But He spoke to my heart. I moved away. And I come back and I'm standing here today preaching the Word of God. Amen. I can't say what has God... I, I can't say this. I can't turn away from God. Because He's, gave, he's given me many things Amen. that I can't turn Amen. away from. Amen. And, you know, the, there, there's, there's nothing you can do about it. He's always going to be there. When you're out doing something bad, <clears throat> you're sinning, or you're doing something, He's always there watching you. When you come to church after that week of doing what you're doing, he's going, the Holy Ghost is going to convict your heart. You know, there's, there's things that we can do to, to help the situation. 
Get in His Word. Amen. Get in her, His Word. Not only did He give us life, He gave us love. In John 3, 16, everybody knows that verse. For God so loved the world. He gave us love. But still, what did God give us? Not only that, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that who shall ever believe in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Yeah. He gave His Son to sacrifice for us, for us to be saved, yeah. for His children to be saved. But yet we turn away from God. What has God give, given to us? Right. I mean, it's, it's a hard situation. It's hard to, you know, take in. And then He gave us the bread of life. Amen. Once again, His Word. The Word that we need to be in every day to keep a walk with Jesus Christ. And we, we're either too busy or have other things to do. There's a lot of things that we can be doing other than out playing video games, riding dirt bikes. Going to bars. Right. Going to movies. Right. Bowling on Saturday night the where you can't make it Sunday morning. Yeah. Right here. It is. Right. And I'm not, I'm not just preaching to y'all. I'm preaching to myself too. I'm guilty. Right. I do them things. And you know, I love my Lord. You know, if it weren't for Him, <clears throat> I wouldn't be standing here. He pulled my soul out of the pits of hell. Right. And I don't want to turn back. I want to go straight forward Amen. with the Lord. Amen. Amen.